Hey guys, hello and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be talking through what I think are like the best ways to overcome the problem that you often encounter when you begin progressing in a language, you begin becoming sort of in, at an intermediate level in a language. Um, and you, ha you can strike up a conversation with someone who is speaking this, your target language. You can get chatting with people, but very quickly you find that you're losing your sort of, you just, the, the person's talking too fast or they're using too much slang and you just kind of lose what they're saying very quickly. Um, and then like, so you just don't really understand them. Um, and then it comes to your turn to reply and, it, and it's kind of difficult and things you can do about this situation, right? Well, I think the first thing to realize about this situation is that it does get better with practice. Um, and that the more conversation you have with native speakers, the more you'll just latch onto what they're saying, the more natural it will be to just understand um, what they're trying to say. And this is really easy to forget. Um, it might sound obvious to say, but, but you know, it's very easy to forget that, that, um, that this is the case. And you, know, you get discouraged by having a few conversations where you just lose what the other person's saying. And then it's kind of awkward because you don't know what to reply. Um, and you kind of just, just sort of drop off on your, on your progress because, because this is so discouraging. Um, but, but what you'll realise is that this is part of the process and the more, the more you do it, the more every, every time you, you don't quite understand, you lose track of what someone's saying, is one time you, you're going to get closer to, um, to, to, to comprehending better in the future. Um, so that's a really important thing to remember. Just keep up the good work, no matter how bad it is. Um, uh, now, in terms of like what to do to keep the conversation going when you can't lose track of what someone's saying, um, you want to have some good basic tips. And one thing that I think is very useful is to don't, not worry too much about what, um, if you lose track of what someone's saying, don't try too hard to really understand it. If you, if, if you miss what they say, if you too bad, you know, and all, the more you strain to try to understand it, it's like, the less light you're going to have. So just uh, abandon trying to understand things that, that you just can't understand in the language. Pick up on those small things that you do pick up on, that you, that you do understand the person saying, even if it's just a couple of words. So for example, let's say I'm having a conversation in Italian with someone about um, my dog. And I say, oh, my dog um, keeps barking at the squirrels in, um, in the tree, you know. Um, and the person says a bunch of stuff to, uh, in response to that that I simply don't understand. And then they finish talking and now it's time for me to reply. Um, what I will often do in this situation, and this is really... What I'm about to tell you is really bad advice if you want to be a good conversationalist. Don't do this normally. But in this situation where someone just says something really fast and you're like, fuck, what, what was that? Um, and you don't want to revert into English to, to understand what they say. I just take one tiny part that, that would still be relevant regardless of what they said. So I might say, so do you have a dog? Or... Um, you know, something that would be appropriate to, to say given the conversation. Or they might say something like, um, where we live in our house in Rome, we have, um, you know, and then blah, 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 and then I lose track of what they say. I could just latch onto the bit that I did understand. So, so I'll be like, oh, you're from Rome. Where are you from in Rome? You know, what, what's, um, what part of Rome are you from? You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's a bit sneaky, it's a bit, a bit of a cheeky tactic, but it's great just to keep the conversation up. So that's a good thing to remember. The other thing that I want to stress is that when you do lose the flow of a language, of what someone's saying, um, it's very easy to get some imposter syndrome and you think like, um, oh, you know, they're, they're just sort of 
I, I can't speak the language, you know, just, and the, but really resist thinking this because the truth is people don't really pick up on when you don't understand as much as you think they do. Like when, basically, if you can speak the language, people will very, you know, even if you're saying the, very, the most basic things like hello or, you know, how are you? Uh, most people will just kind of forget that, that you, you're not at a very advanced level with it. Like when someone doesn't speak a lot of English, um, I don't really sort of, the idea that they don't understand what I'm saying kind of confuses me. I can't, because, because it, in my head, it's like, oh, you either speak English or you don't, right? But the truth is, it's much more complex. You know, so someone could literally just know the words, hello, my name is blah, blah, blah. And you just kind of assume that they, they, they okay, they speak English, they're going to understand me. But someone could just learn that phrase, you know, I could learn that phrase in Turkish and it wouldn't make me, um, it wouldn't make me be able to speak Turkish. Someone would, I could learn that in like five minutes, um, but then someone would reply to me in Turkish and I don't know a fucking clue what they said. Um, but you forget how that comes across, you know, when someone... That's the thing. When, when someone just says a few words in the language, you just kind of assume that they're going to understand you. So use this, to, get, to say it back to um, your situation, use this to your advantage. When someone says, um, you know, realise that, that they are going to, the, the sort of status quo is you understand what they say. So you know, use that, really use that. Um, and, you know, just latch on to what they say, uh, bits that you do understand and just keep the conversation going and, you know, things will slowly improve over time the more you expose yourself to the language and the more you, particularly in conversations, particularly just, just having that sort of informal conversation, um, that's where you're gonna really, you're gonna learn so much comprehension that way. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.